Hey, Brad, need any help? No, thanks. I got it. When we announced we would talk about sex, gender, and media on Straight Talk, we got so many responses. Emails, letters, and some direct phone calls. I guess we should get right down to it. From the start, one girl wanted to know the difference between sex, sexuality, and gender. Basically, sex is biological, whether you were born male or female. Sexuality is how we look, act, and feel about ourselves in a sexual sense. Gender is just a word for male or female, and gender roles are the roles, feminine or masculine, which are assigned to us by our culture and by society. How they influence us is important to our emotional well-being. Sex and gender roles today are sometimes confusing, and the media hasn't helped. For example, if a girl is known in her family as wholesome and studious, and she dresses that way, there is no confusion for her or within her group or family. However, if a girl acts very sexy and flirty, and dresses in modern fashions that copy some film stars, yet is still trying to be wholesome and studious too, she'll send a mixed message. Maybe not appropriate for school. I agree. Listen to this information we got from a parent. The writer said that parents don't want to sound narrow-minded, but they have to think about the life kids are caught up in and teach them some media literacy. Young people watch cable, they see late night TV, they get 200 channels. She feels that it is nearly impossible to avoid the flood of images. We all need to be more media literate. That is, know how to read the messages that are presented. Will that toothpaste really make your smile brighter? Well, maybe. But they're not so much trying to sell you a brighter smile. They're trying to sell you a tube of toothpaste. Keep in mind, results may vary. Information like this can counteract the beating your self-esteem may take when the media goes into overdrive with the hard sell. Commercialism is a powerful force in our society and may be the root cause of the increase in sex and gender themes that surround us. Sex? Sells! Advertisers get your attention by showing attractive people dressed in sexually provocative clothing. They want us to buy the product shown in their ads. They want to convince us that it will make us more attractive. We see and hear sexual themes on TV, in the movies, and on the radio. And we buy CDs, DVDs, computer games, and we watch more TV than ever before. The content of all this media is ever more suggestive and explicit. Abstinence from risk-taking behavior is not a popular theme. For years, people have argued about the effect of certain kinds of shows on the audience. But research has shown that entertainment media does affect our lives. The behaviors children and adults consider appropriate come, in part, from the messages we get from television and the movies. We wanted to see for ourselves. Here's what our on-the-street reporters found out. The media influences some people, but not me. I really try hard not to look like everyone else. Me either. Okay. Well, whether we believe we are being influenced or not, it's important to think about what we are seeing. How realistic, accurate, and honest are these media messages? How do they make you feel when you see and hear them? Are you drawn to those images? Ask yourself why, especially if they put you in conflict with your own values or those of your family. And what exactly is media that's realistic, accurate, and honest? One person told us what he likes. He writes, I like shows and magazines that give you information about the world and also show you things to do with your friends. Interesting. You can find programs like that and really good magazines, but you've got to look for them. Your TV won't change channels by itself. What about accuracy? How do we look for that? Apparently that's a big problem with the so-called reality shows. Just because they're called reality doesn't mean they're totally honest. Most are completely staged. They can be misleading if they make things up about the players or situations. There have been some cases where producers used editing to change the real relationship of the people involved. Now, let's take a closer look at advertising. Some advertisers stick to the guidelines they've been given truth, fairness, and so on. There are laws regulating claims advertisers can make about their products. However, some ads can still be very misleading. Whether on signs or in publications, on your shoes or in the sky, advertising is a part of our economy. That's one of the ways we find out about new products. And of course, some ads are helpful and useful. 
and some just encourage us in a sexy kind of way to buy something. These ads are also presenting lifestyles. Do you really need designer clothing? And if you do, what does that say about your values? And ads are famous for stereotyping too. Nothing says loving like something from the oven. It feels very says it best. In my family, the men and boys help with chores like dishes and laundry. And I have to take my turn mowing the lawn. But when was the last time you saw that on TV? And if you do see males in traditional female roles, they're always shown messing up. We are looking for reality, for accuracy and honest information. Messages that don't promote risk-taking behavior. Sometimes it can be pretty confusing without guidelines. Let's talk about music videos. One of our viewers had this comment. Sometimes I can't understand the words on the radio. Then I watch the music video. Either the images don't match the words, or it's not at all what I thought I heard. I know what you mean. One of my friends was listening to a song. Take a chance on me. His little brother was singing along. Jackie Chan's on me. There's another thing. Watching music videos with my girlfriend is sometimes, well, embarrassing. I can see why. People often identify with the same gender presented on the screen. When what you see doesn't match what you think is the right way to act, it's troubling. I have a suggestion next time you're troubled. Try changing channels. I just turn off the TV. It might be a great opportunity to talk about these issues with each other. Here's Billy. My parents won't let me watch much TV, especially MTV. I feel like I live in the dark ages. Maybe it's because a lot of these music videos are sexually explicit and acted out by men and women older than you are. So you might agree with the song's message, but you would never go out dressed like some of those performers. And it's not just girls who get confusing messages. Sometimes the media promote lifestyles and fashions that can leave a guy looking pretty clueless. So, okay, I don't want to be a traitor to my generation and all, but I don't get how guys dress today. I mean, come on, it looks like they just fell out of bed and put on some baggy pants and take their greasy hair, ooh, and cover it up with a backwards cap and, like, we're expected to swoon? I don't think so. I think that it is really important to remember that these music videos are meant to sell CDs to make money and to create fame for the performers. Many are not realistic. They're fantasies of the people involved in making the videos.